for every 10 no's, you're gonna get at least one yes, in theory. But it's very hard to get a no if they're not answering their phone. Or hey guys, so I am doing the cold call video that I have been claiming that I'm gonna do for a while now. I just didn't know if I was gonna buy a new machine or what I wanted to do. Really wanted to save my money up so that I could buy furniture for our new house. So I think a better in-between zone is to take my slowest location, take a machine out of there and put it into hopefully what I will get today as a yes. So I'm sitting on my couch, not a normal area, didn't feel like cleaning the back room, threw on a, a shirt that makes me look kind of presentable instead of my pajamas and we are going to make some cold calls. I am specifically going to be calling retirement homes or hotels. So I have some retirement homes up on my computer right now that are the closest. Uh, SeniorHousingNet.com is what I'm on and there are 34 retirement homes near me. So let's see how many we can call today. This is my first time doing this. I've never done a cold call. So like I told you guys, I like to show you guys as I do it because I am learning, you are learning. So I want you to see my mess ups, my success stories, and I want you to see that not everything is perfect and it's okay if you don't get a yes, keep trying. So hopefully I can inspire you to keep going. Very nervous about this right now. Thank you for calling, Ready? and I'm gonna help you out. Hi, I was wondering if I could speak to the property manager or just a manager of the building today? Um, that would be Elaine Pridgen. Mm -hmm. And I can give you her number. Is she in today? Um, I don't know. She doesn't work at our facility. She doesn't work in this building. Okay, I'm ready for her number. Hi, I have a quick question for you Um, since you're on the phone. Do you guys already have vending machines at your facility? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, would you guys be okay with getting more or are you happy with the service? Um, I think we're good with what we have, but you're welcome to reach out. Okay, thank you so much. Most of these places are already going to have vending machines, but I'm going to try to ask if they're happy with their service because they might not. So, um, since she already said they have some, I might just move on to the next one. Alright, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad, okay. This is the second one. Thank you for calling the hi, Linda speaking. How may I direct your call? Hi, Linda. My name's Jasmine. I was wondering if I could talk to the property manager or just the manager of the building. Okay, um, what is your company? What? I'm Vend757. I do uh, vending machines. Oh, vending. Okay, let me, okay, hold on just a moment, please. Okay. Uh, I'm on hold. If she's saying, oh, vending, I think they have vending machines already. My heart is pounding. This is Robert Greninger, the maintenance director at the High Hi, my name is Jasmine. I'm with the local company for Vend 757, and I was calling you to see if you had uh, any of vending machines on your property or if you were happy with your service. Please give me a call back at 7. I'm gonna call back again later for him. This is the third one. It's a great day. Morning, Sean. How can I help you? Hi, my name's Jasmine. I was wondering if I could talk to the building manager or just the manager. Um, and what is this referring to? This is for the vending machines. Vending machines. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. Your name is Jasmine. Yes. Okay, hold on, one moment. I guess you should try to act like you are, you know, that you you belong in the building. So. I'm just gonna sound very sure of myself when they say, who is this for or what is this for? <sighs> Please let me get one today. Do you want me to take your um, number and stuff so you can call him back? Yeah, that'd be perfect. Or do you want, or do you want his voicemail? Uh, I can do his voicemail too. Okay, well give me your number. Okay, my number is seven. Ugh. I'm so <laughs> anxiety. <laughs> There is no one available to take your call at the moment. Hi, my name is Jack. We are sorry we missed your call. I'm going to call back. Maybe they were busy or someone wasn't at the front desk. Usually at retirement homes, there should be someone at the front desk. So maybe call back in a few minutes if you're calling them. You've reached the voicemail box of John Aldridge. Good man. Thank you. Hi, 
Hi, Ms. Deborah. My name is Jasmine. I was wondering if I could talk to you about your vending machines, if you have any. <laughs> I'm not the one to speak about that. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with the vending machine? Ah, uh, there's nothing wrong with it. I was wondering if you guys had any or if you were happy with your services. Uh, well, we have one. Uh-huh. Is it working well, or are they providing snacks that are up to you guys' standards? Where if it was different, uh, the person, the vending machine company, then they would have known if there's anything different. What's the problem? It's not. It's dead. <laughs> One of them had it without vending machine. <laughs> Hold on. One moment. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you said we're okay with the vending machine. Okay, well, um, let him know that if he would like a, another one in there or one with the more local service, okay. that I can provide one for what free. Excuse me, what company you represent? Vin 757. We place free machines for Vin companies. 757? Yeah, we give out free machines. Vin 757. We're good. We're good. Okay, you guys have a good day. Thank you. Bye. I wonder why they were laughing. It didn't really sound like they were happy with the services, but the guy in the back was like, oh, we're good. I don't know. I don't know, that was weird. I thought she was gonna be giving me a leeway in, like, oh yeah, we hate these machines, but hmm, they're good. <sighs> My jittering is still here, but I need a yes. I need a yes. I feel like all these places have vending machines already. Ah, don't give up. Don't give up. <laughs> I'm only on my, let's see how many I've called so far. Maybe like six, eight. I've called eight places. How can I help you? Hi, I was wondering if you guys had vending machines at your establishment. We do. Were you satisfied with the choices and selections and with the company? Um, actually, I'm going to send you to our main office. Okay. That sounds great. The number is 928. So the thing is with this is for every 10 no's, you're going to get at least one yes in theory. And it's worked for me as well when I've walked into different places. But it's very hard to get a no if they're not answering their phone or if the person's not there. So I, I think everybody can relate to this, the property manager not being there. But in this instance, a lot of assistant living homes have them already. So that's why I keep asking them, are they happy with it? So I'm going to go ahead and call this number. Hello? Hello, yes. Can I speak with Jasmine, please? This is, this is Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. My name's Robert. I'm returning your phone call. Um, you called talking about vending machines or something? Yes, I did. All right. So what are you, are you a distributor of vending machines? Uh, what, what is it that you do? I'm a local company and we are giving out free vending machines. They're actually free. There's no uh, strings attached to it. Since the COVID epidemic, I've, we've noticed that a lot of people have been needing the, to stay on the property to eat or get snacks. So we wanted to provide a free service to uh, like assistant living places and hotels. Okay. What kind of vending machines you got? So this one would be a snack machine and attached would be a soda machine. Would you be interested in that? It's free. You do, you don't have to pay for anything of the placement. We handle everything for you. I would be interested in seeing what you got. Okay, I can definitely stop by tomorrow or today if you have time and show you a few pictures of it. Can you be here in a half an hour? Yeah, I can do that. Um, I'd like to do it today if you can be here by like 3, 3.15. That'd be perfect. Okay, and I can come with a few pictures and you can pick out any type of snacks you would like to put in there. Or sodas. Yeah, awesome. Just, yeah, bring a list of everything that you guys offer and look at what I have and then you can compare it to what you have. Mm -hmm. um, and we can see if we can make it work. All right, I will see you in a few, Robert. Great, thanks. Thank you. Mm -hmm, bye. <laughs> okay, so I called seven, my, maybe nine or ten. Let me get my clothes on. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys with me. Future Jasmine here. So I am actually filming this the day that I'm gonna upload. Um, when I was at my meeting, the guy really wanted to see a booklet of all the things that I offer, all the items that I offer. 
and he also wanted to have a special order list so if he ever had a request that he could just put it on so for most people we should have this for our business because we have to show people what we offer for them to eat so i went ahead and i made this pamphlet that not only am i going to be using for my business but you guys can also purchase this from me and you can send me in the machines that you use these are the three most common machines that i use so i wanted to put those up there and then on the inside um you have what your brand is about what your company is about you have your table of contents every common item that most vending machines have for their customers so you have your cold drinks you have your juices you have your chips you have your energy drinks crackers cookies so anything that is the most common that you will find at sam's club or costco's or walmart that you can now show each of your potential customers this booklet and it's a nice booklet i spent so long trying to put this together and i even put up here that if they don't find if they can't see what they like they can put in a special request so i decided to also if you purchase this from me have hotel care some of some of you guys do hotels or you do airports so it has some of those essential items like shampoo has toothbrushes has even condoms up there um you can ask me to add any other items that you may specifically find in your area that i don't have here you can choose your color this is the border right here you can choose your color you can give me all of your um, company's information and i'll put it in the booklet and you can also send me your machines like let's say you have a branded machine like it's orange or something i can put that on the front and it would be a great identifier of who you are but the good thing is up here is i also offer a customer special request form so the company can put their name their address and their city and their phone if you want to take this to the store and you mix it up with other forms you know exactly where you got your form from and it needs to go back to that uh, job location so that they get the products that they asked for and it has all your information on it customers can put what they want um, it's like an excel sheet and they can write on it and i give you five of these five or six of these as a starter you can either purchase more of these if you want or just copy them or make your own but you start off with five i know newbies in the business they need something like this i needed something like this it's very professional everyone always asks me to bring this type of thing so they can see what they can choose from you can choose to give them to the companies and buy more from me or you could just bring it to locations and say that it's not a copy for them but they can get a customer form to put in what they want so i wanted to come on here and tell you that i've been working really hard on this so if you guys would like to purchase this whole booklet from me it's a really nice booklet then you can email me right here i'll also put it in the description box and also in the comments or you can dm me on instagram and we can go over what you would like to add to this um it's a special form we can create it to how you want it to look and what you want it to say and the colors and your machines so i hope you guys are going to be interested in something like that i worked very hard on it it's great for newbies lots of people have asked me for it so let's get to my meeting with the guy gatorades a couple of different water options i know they have water and like flavored water i'd, I'd like to get away from all soda mm -hmm. um but i'd like to have a good selection of soda in there too what about juice um juice would be nice okay i mean see i like this one and it's got all the different options and stuff in it yeah. this is cool now if you had a snack machine that was exactly the same size and i just double them up okay because i feel like i have enough space for that because i mean i got a what three foot gap there mm -hmm. and i can move these chairs um and that'll give me another five feet so even if your machines are a little bit bigger than this one i can still make it work so i do have one of these in stock but okay. it, it is a combo so it it can be changed with all soda or it can just have all snacks in it 150 150 for their sodas so they have and then they have the old machine, but it's always always messing up. Um, 
if we could get this in a combo with snacks and drinks, that would be awesome. I don't care how big that one is. It would be, but I was going to exchange it for the actual combo. This one is mainly for snacks. Mm -hmm. So when you said two snack machines with double up, I was like, oh, well, I can do that. Yeah. Or I could just do this one, which is going to be just a bit bigger. I think this one is going to be too small for what we need because what I'm looking at right now, one, two, three, four, five, six. it's got six drinks yeah. options. I want to have at least 10. Okay. Um, so, I mean, even if we go with um, this machine, and I'm assuming this is a standalone machine, or is this part That's of That's what that would look like inside that. Okay, so yeah, if we just did two of these, <laughs> and then we just boom, boom, and then one for snacks, one for drinks. Okay. I feel like that would probably be the best in that way, because some of our residents come down here and cheat on their diet. All right, so here's a recap, is he wants the vending machine that is all snacks. He wants that one to be all snacks. And then he wants me to get a second one that is just for sodas. So I said I can either do that one or I can just get a normal soda machine that looks like the one he already has and I can place it in there. He didn't want any commission. He didn't ask about any commission. He just said, what can we put in there? Because we want variety. So I said, whatever you want, I can put in there. Whatever you don't have and you want, I can put in there. I'm so excited. And this place is only seven minutes away from where I live. I gotta stop screaming in my videos. And before I turned the camera off, or after I did, he sat me down and he said that, dude, before you called, my assistant was already um, complaining about the vending machine because they keep stopping, they're not working, they take the, the, the money, and he was like, you better call her back. Positive mindsets, you guys, so. I hope you enjoyed. I don't feel like I gave like the best speech on, on the phone about how to do a cold call, but maybe you can take some pointers about talking about how COVID has kept people inside of their facilities, mainly hotels and, and care centers, and that it's just great to have something in the place that they're working at and they don't have to leave because of Corona. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna call my supplier now.